What's up, it's Joshua Paul Hudson. It took me a minute to get to this point to where I knew how to answer this question. And it comes down to the same thing. People want to quantify sin. And like this whole homosexuality and marriage in the church. The, the Catholic Church isn't a political organization. I mean, it kind of is, but like as far as the basic statutes, it's not a political organization, right? And so that being said, right, if the American government wants to honor same-sex marriage or the Protestant churches or what, they can go ahead and do that. That's fine. The Catholic Church has basic statutes. It's not gonna. It's not gonna recognize same-sex marriage. It's just not. It's not going to happen. Does that mean that I think that that's the worst sin in the world? No, it's not. It's not the worst sin. Is that worse? Like because it's not even in the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not sleep with another man or whatever. It's not in the Ten Commandments. Murder is. Now, you have to look at this from a perspective of God. Right? To God, sin, sin. God isn't a human being living in here in, in our preconceived notions of what's worse based on whatever our life is or our lifestyle. Stealing's worse than lying. Lying's worse than murder. Murder's worse than that. To God, sin, sin. You know, he gave you take commands. He didn't rank them in order. He didn't say, this is number one and this is number ten. And Jesus said it best. He said, there's only one commandment. Love the Lord your God. All right? That being said, going back to the statutes of, like, homosexuality and Eucharist and all that, the church should not, the church should not bless homosexuality and, and let people take Eucharist. If you want to go to church or you want to go to Mass, and you want to partake in the Eucharist, that's between you and God. Alright? That's between you and God. If you want... The, the priests shouldn't say that you can't have it, or you can't have it. They should instruct you on your committing sin. But it goes to the same kind of thing as like, alright, somebody else who, who, who commits all kinds of sin during the week, they don't go to confession. And they still go and they partake in the Eucharist. It's the same sin. That's for God to judge at the end. But as far as as the Catholic Church saying that homosexuality is, is okay and we're going to accept this, we're not. It's not going to be accepted. Because you would be asking me to do the same thing as saying, we're going to accept murder. We accept redemption and forgiveness of sins and changing your life. Like, I'm not the perfect person. I'm, I'm just going to say that straight up. Like... I have, like, things that I've done wrong in my life. Now, we're not going to get into the basis of, like, you know, is it all right for me? Because, like, um, you know, the reason that Jesus was was not a sinner wasn't because he didn't commit sin. The reason Jesus wasn't a sinner is because he's God and God can't sin against his creation. But I'm not going to get into that theological discussion, which the canon lawyers argue with me all the time. But it comes down to, the, like, if you want to be a homosexual, that's fine. Like, I'm not saying it's any worse than anything I've done or anything anybody else has done. Or is it worse than murder or lies? But the church is not going to accept that. Because if, if the church does that, we're going to have to accept that murder is all right. And you don't have to go and seek redemption for murder. Now, if you want to come and participate in the Eucharist, that's your right. And it's not the church's right to deny you that. You know, if you want to do that, it's going to be something between you and God. We can instruct you on that, but we can't deny that. It's not It's not the church's place. I don't care what tradition and canon law says. This is God's law. And since I have the authority over this world, so let it be written, so let it be done.